And here is the Writer's Almanac for Monday. It's the 11th of November, 2019. It's Veterans Day, the day originally called Armistice Day because it was on this day, 1918. The First World War came to an end when the armistice was signed at 11 a.m. on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of the year. After four years of brutal trench fighting in Europe, nine million soldiers died, 21 million more were wounded, the bloodiest war in history up to that point. It's the birthday of a writer who was also a veteran, Kurt Vonnegut, born Indianapolis, 1922. He joined the army and in December 1944 was captured by the Germans during the Battle of the Bulge and imprisoned in a slaughterhouse in Dresden. On the night of February 13, 1945, British and American bombers attacked the city, ignited a firestorm that killed almost all the city's inhabitants in two hours, and Vonnegut and his fellow prisoners only survived because they slept in a meat locker three stories below the ground. He wrote about it in his novel Slaughterhouse Five. Kurt Vonnegut, who once said, any reviewer who expresses rage and loathing for a novel is preposterous. He or she is like a person who has put on full armor and attacked a hot fudge sundae. It's the birthday of the writer Mary Gateskill, born Lexington, Kentucky, 1954, whose novels explore somewhat taboo subjects, sex work and sadomasochism, books like Two Girls, Fat and Thin, and her short story collection, Bad Behavior. She worked as a stripper and a call girl while she was writing the stories that went into that collection which was such a bestseller in bad behavior that she was able to pay off her student loans and quit her day job. It was on this date, 1926, the United States numbered highway system was established. One of the most famous of the new numbered highways was Highway 66 from Chicago all the way to Los Angeles, built following a patchwork of old wagon trails from around the time of the Civil War. John Steinbeck immortalized Route 66 with his Grapes of Wrath, story of Dust Bowl refugees, and Jack Kerouac's character, Sal Paradise, traveled the highway in his novel On the Road. Other highways included the Lincoln Highway from New York to San Francisco, the Dixie Overland from Savannah to San Diego, the Theodore Roosevelt Highway from Portland, Maine to Portland, Oregon, and the Jackson Highway from Chicago to New Orleans. Here's a poem by Tim Nolan entitled Gettysburg. Remember how we got out of the car at 1.30 a.m. in the foggy heat and passed along the sidewalks through the seminary campus and out to the field, that field where Pickett made his charge. And do you remember how it was a time of ghosts everywhere rising with the hot dew and you were a little boy, and I was much younger than I am now, leaner, and we walked a ways into the field, the crickets and hoppers jumping up before our feet, and we didn't talk at all, all the way across the field, and when we went far enough, a certain distance, I said something, and you agreed, and so... We turned back. Gettysburg, a poem by Tim Nolan from his collection The Field, published by New Rivers Press and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.